Current network security systems require human programmers to identify and repair weaknesses, usually after an attack. But what if these security systems were fully automated? To answer these questions, DARPA launched the Cyber Grand Challenge, the first computer security tournament designed to test intelligent machines. The Cyber Grand Challenge hopes to prevent these attacks by improving our ability to patch software in near real time. The challenge plans to follow a capture the flag format often employed by experts to test their cyber defense skills. What we might say full spectrum capture the flag exercises in which the participants are expected to not only uh, carry out offensive related tasks but uh, defend their own systems as well. And this generally involves analyzing software for uh, security vulnerabilities, uh, understanding how to patch that software to uh, harden your defenses against your competitors, and understanding uh, how to leverage the knowledge you have about the flaws in those softwares to demonstrate that your competitors uh, continue to uh, field flawed software. The best of the best go head-to-head -head in a final tournament at the Holiest of Sites for Cyber Warriors, DEF CON Conference in Las Vegas. The winning team receives a cash prize of $2 million. Second place earns $1 million, and third place $750,000. My role in the Cyber Grand Challenge is to participate in the, the team that is architecting the competition infrastructure. So I like to give an analogy to some other DARPA programs that have gone on. They've done uh, autonomous vehicle challenges. They've done uh, some robotics challenges. In the autonomous vehicle challenges, corporations, uh, competitors were invited to build vehicles with enough sensors to allow them to navigate a track with the intent of measuring the capabilities of the vehicles. If we apply that to the Cyber Grand Challenge, then my role is to help architect that track uh, in the cyber sense on which we will evaluate the systems that have been developed by the competitors in part through my, my knowledge and understanding of capture the flag on competitions. I am attempting to build a measurement framework whereby we will feel confident that we can decide which competitors put forth the best technology and most closely meets the goals of the Cyber Grand Challenge program as put forth by DARPA. As cyber becomes more readily accessible uh, throughout the world and more people are becoming as connected as we are, we're going to see more people gaining these skills, uh, more people understanding perhaps the, the, the power uh, that such attacks uh, can bring them. The outcome of these attacks can be as noisy or as quiet uh, as the group chooses to allow them to be. We might help ourselves by learning to operate in an environment in which we can trust very little of the technology uh, that we're using. And if we learn to operate under the assumption that everything that we're using is already compromised and what kind of personal security practices we can employ in such environments, uh, then we may start to see a shift uh, to a time when the impact of such attacks uh, is lessened dramatically because the people against which they're prosecuting the attacks are better prepared to deal with them.